Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 29th of March 2023. Thanks for joining me. I want to use the amazing Wildwood Tarot. I really think this deck is a work of art. I think it's one of the best decks out there. Let's see what these have to say about Wednesday and what energy you'll be working with. So let me just shuffle these a few times and then choose three cards to see what's coming up here. So the first card is the Two of Bows, and that's the Two of Wands. We had that yesterday, so it's an ongoing theme. Your ability to take charge of your life and to become a wild man engulfed by flames because you're so passionate. I love it. I love the depiction of the Two of Wands in this. Then we have the Five of Stones, which is tough times and hardship and rejection, but in this case, it's endurance. I love that. They're going straight to the solution to the problem of rejection, which is, I will endure no matter what happens. The Three of Stones is the Three of Pentacles, and that's the ability to work very, very well. And in this case, it's working well creatively, but in a practical, earthy kind of way. So this is like a story. I'm going to set out to be a great artist. I want to change the world with my paintings. I can't get into an gallery, into a gallery. No one is interested in my brilliant masterpieces. So I'm going to endure. I'm going to continue being creative until I make it. This is really a story of resilience and someone who has made this amazing decision that is really important to him. There's no guarantee whether it will work out. There's kind of a guarantee that there will be problems on this journey like there is with everything. And if you're on that kind of mission today, or if you decide to put yourself on that mission, you say, today I am making the decision to live my life the way I want to, a life that's full of fire and passion and purpose. And then immediately, Something on this day says, well, that's not going to work. So it makes you feel out in the cold. Clouds are, are stormy. The winds are blowing. The rain is pouring down. And you're just trying to stay warm. I think this is brilliantly done because you feel so much compassion for this poor little girl. So it's that moment of, yeah, I've really been hurt by a rejection. Something that I thought was going to work out didn't. And now I'm just by my little old lonesome. But what I've just noticed is that this girl grows up to be this amazing woman. <clears throat> and once she's endured and doesn't give up and kind of finds a way to live in this environment, grows up, she notices that she has, in this case, an amazing connection to the earth via these roots. She's at one with the earth and she comes into her own. So the message is never give up. You never know what's slumbering inside of you. This girl doesn't have any roots. She doesn't know that the age of, what, 17, she's going to transform into some wood nymph. So it's about having faith in your life and that there are wonderful things in store for you, that destiny has a whole bag of tricks still waiting to be revealed. And on this day, if you manage to have that faith in yourself and your own abilities, then you really get to a place of personal growth and you re reveal how good you are or who you really are through the hardship of this day. So the key thing is to, to look at what is it that I want to build and create in my life. And let me get started with it. Fire is very much about taking action and getting things done. And then something on this day, I think, is likely to kind of put a spanner in the works and you're like, oh, this isn't working, I'm disappointed, maybe I should give up. And instead of giving up, find a workaround, find a different, for instance, gallery where you can exhibit your work and keep trying. That process of keeping trying strengthens you and really proves to you that you're super resilient and you have endurance because the plan hasn't changed. The decision, you've made it, you're consistent with that. But you're not going to let 
the circumstances get you down. So that builds a really resilient character in itself. And then finally, you're also continuing with your decision, with your creative path. So the more you practice that, the better you get at it. So that it's actually the hardship and all this hard work then pays off to put you in an exceptional position where you've got skills that you've honed by yourself that are now completely unique. And if you look at it that way, the hardship or the rejection was really the catalyst to, to uncovering all the things that are in you. So it's a really powerful energy today that says, please don't give up. The key thing in your life is that you make a decision to create a life that you want. Let the um, difficulties not deter you, but also see them as something that is now teaching you to overcome. And that's going to catapult you into the position you want to be and the person you want to be. So we're honing skills through difficulties. We're becoming more resilient. The Three of Stones is usually a man chipping away at a, car, at a cathedral and he's creating these beautiful pentacles which are going to stand there for the, the test of time. As long as the th cathedral is up, his artwork will be seen and admired. But here we've got a woman who is turning herself into a tree. So what she's doing is she's getting creative with nature so she must have understood the nature of a tree. And then she's got this magical ability to change her physical form and to become the shapeshifter and to build herself into something that she wasn't to begin with. To begin with, she was a, a, a person who lived in the forest. And now through some sort of creative spiritual process, she's kind of hanging on to these stones for dear life. She's closing her eyes. It's almost like she's sucking in the power. And that power is transforming her into an earth being. So that card says to me, you don't even know what you could grow into. I think that's a really important point, you know. Like, I'm just thinking of an example. Who says that I can't be an airplane pilot. I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the, the key is that if you have a, a notion of who you want to become, it's possible. I mean, sometimes certain things, you know, aren't going to be possible. Like if you're no longer 17 and have been practicing for the, and haven't been practicing for 10 years, then it's unlikely you're going to become a prima ballerina. But I think the, the prompt for us is to stop thinking outside of the box and to say, do you know what? Okay, my environment and this is what people do and this is what's normal and then there are a few exceptional people. Where do I want to lie on that? And can I do something completely different than any of these other people are doing? So that's this whole process. Like if you live in a town and no one understands you, then you're going to be prompted to move to another town and then you meet people who are part of your tribe and then you build great friendships. But the move wouldn't have happened if you hadn't experienced the hardship of, I don't like living in this town I was born in. So sometimes hardships, like on this day, one teaches something and then also catapult us into continuing on. And it's through that continuing on that all our gifts are revealed. And your self-confidence builds because it's like, look, I did this and this and this. If I survive those things, I'm going to survive this too. I've done difficult before. <laughs> we all have done difficult before. Number wise, we've got two. And five is seven. And three is ten. Ten reduces to one in numerology. And one is the um, vibration of the pioneer and the boss and the independent person who plans his life, takes control and says, this is what I'm going to build and do. So that really, I think, is something you've got access to all day. And I'm just thinking as well, like if this man who looks like a wild man, if something doesn't go in his way, do you think he'd be like, oh, OK, I guess I'll put the flames out and comb my hair and go home? <laughs> 
I don't think he'd do that. I think he'd have a fit and he'd say, how dare you tell me I can't do this, get out of my way, do the major conflict. And if that didn't work, the aggression to kind of put someone else in their place, then he'd just find a different way of doing what he wants. I like the whole uncontrollable vibe that's associated with him. Because this is really something that burns you up. Like you can't help yourself. I have to do something with my life. <laughs> so that's really strong. So you can handle that. Avoid like blowing up if, if it's something that you find totally unacceptable and instead try and find an alternative and then realize that you're now have gained a lot through this whole process. And this can be today and it can be longer term as well. So stick with the one, your pioneering energy and keep on keeping on all the way. Have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. In my personal readings, I use astrology, the tarot, numerology, and my intuition. To draw up your birth charts, I need your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. And once I have that, I can answer any questions you may have about certain areas of your life or what's coming up in future or locations. So if you have any questions for me, please do get in touch for a personal reading. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.